Hi, I'm Jared Hannon with Auto Owners Insurance. I'm here live today at our new Claims and Underwriting Training Center. We built this facility with our claim reps in mind to offer a more hands-on experience in the investigation process of a claim. In turn, it allows us to better serve our customers. So come along on the tour with me. There's a couple different types of siding here, and we would refer to these both as steel siding. Um, something that's kind of unique to steel or metal siding. This is a four inch lap product, and this is an eight inch lap product. And when it comes to, to metal or steel, actually a magnet will stick to this versus aluminum where it won't. So stuff like this is what we're able to, to teach and train our claim reps in. Um, as we move along further, there's a lot of different types of trim, and you'll notice some treated posts here and whatnot. I'll actually get to that in a few minutes when we go upstairs. But as you come along to the east side of the building, you'll notice that we have a wood uh, siding product. This is a T111, uh, a couple different windows with some different trim on them. And then also, moving along further, we've got a cedar lap product. And this is just to show the different types of materials that a claim rep may see when they're investigating the loss. Um, and then we transition to a more traditional product and to the vinyl siding. So if you look here, we have not only different colors, but also different styles. So this is a Dutch lap product um, on the gable and on the sidewall here. And then just a double four vinyl, and then also a triple three vinyl. And then again, different types and styles of windows, different colors of windows, uh, which really incorporates the various things that we might find if we are inspecting a loss. So as we complete the exterior tour of the first floor, this is something else that's very unique. The detail that we're able to show. So as an example, this is actually a chimney chase. And for someone that may not be familiar, this is a great way to show someone what the material is that it's built out of and also the interior components of the actual fireplace. So next we're going to go inside and we're going to take a look at our kitchen and some other, some other areas of the home. And before we get in the kitchen, you'll notice that we have some different flooring products. Again, it kind of uh, matches what the exterior is doing where we have some different material and products that we're able to showcase and utilize as part of training. So in the actual kitchen, we've got a, um, a vinyl flooring product in the laundry room and then uh, a laminate product in the kitchen and also in the dining room. Also, this is a great space in order to show and showcase just different types of materials that claim rooms may see when they're in the field. So for example, you'll notice we have different types of cabinetry here, different base frames. Um, that's a thermal foil product and this is a, a stained product and then we have a painted product here. And the amount of detail we're able to utilize is really great because if you take a look at this, the drawer construction, we can actually show the differences that a claimant may see where this has a soft close on it. Uh, this is a, a stained product and there's the different detail within the cabinetry itself. We've got real oak shelves. This space really allows us to utilize the different materials that a claimant may see. Something else you may notice is this countertop. So this is a granite countertop and then in turn we have a vinyl countertop or a, excuse me, a laminate countertop here. And then as well, just different detail, we have a crown molding. And it's things like this that really allows us to get a hands-on approach to training and show the different materials and products that we may see. And there's two other things I want to point out about this room you may have noticed. Um, first, you see a, like the wood and the white colored windows. And again, that's by design. There's no two windows or two doors in our training facility that are one and the same. So we're able to utilize different products, materials, types, sizes, etc., for training purposes. The second thing I want to point out are these numbers. These numbers are actually showcasing certain materials or certain products, and this allows our claim reps to utilize our estimating software and the different line numbers or line items that they should be utilizing when they're actually completing an estimate. Okay. Next we're gonna we're gonna get to our flood room, which I'm really excited to show you. But first, if you remember that chimney chase on the outside, this is actually the interior finished product. So this is very unique in that we're able to show kind of like the framing components, but also the finished components. So we have a tile or tile backsplash or surround, and then also um, the nice mantle. And as you'll see, this room is painted and completely finished, just like the rest of the home. But as you get into the, the what I'm going to call the flood room, what we call the flood room, this is a really unique space. So if you go ahead and step in here with me, what we've got, we're actually able to literally flood this room. So we use approximately one to two inches of water completely flood the room, and then you'll notice this equipment in here is very unique. So we flood the room, and we're actually able to use this mitigation equipment to extract the water from the room. 
and you'll notice that there's a drywall cut or a, a flood cut. And this again allows us to showcase and, and utilize training, hands-on training for our field clam wraps in order to see what is appropriate to dry room, what equipment is appropriate, the time frame associated, then also the different materials. As when that flood cut is made, it exposes the, the interior components of the wall. So we got insulation, drywall, plumbing, etc. All right, we're gonna head upstairs now. And before we get there, I just wanna explain the different stair types you'll see. So again, great for training purposes, we have just our, our basic stair framing, and then we move on to a wood finished stair and then a carpeted stair. And as we move up, you'll notice that uh, we utilize different stair components, including the hand railing, a nice stand, stained hand rail here. Versus when you get to the top of the stairs, we've got a painted rail. It's got a different uh, style to it. And then you'll notice the balusters or the spindles, as some may call them. Those are different as well. So we've got an aluminum product and then a couple of wood products, but it's just a great way to be able to show and utilize the difference when inspecting losses. All right, so I'm in the first bedroom in our training center, and you'll notice that we've got an attic access stairwell here. So I'm not going to go up there, but what we have is uh, actually access to the attic. We've got the framing members, um, the trusses or the joists, if you will, and then also the insulation. So folks are actually able to get up there, take a look at it, look at the different materials, measure, things of that sort to actually get a hands-on experience. In the closet, we've actually staged this with some contents. Again, this allows us just things to look for, things to consider when scoping a loss. And then also in the bathroom, I won't step in there, but you can take a look at the flooring um, and then also you know, just the components of a standard bathroom. We've got a corner sink, which is kind of unique, and then a drywall wall and ceiling finish. So behind this, the at attic access, this is also unique and a, a great showcase or great way to showcase the differences we're able to uh, put into this building. So you'll notice that on the left here, this is a more traditional approach to a lath and plaster product with the actual, uh, the wood lath and the plaster. And on the right is actually a drywall backer with a plaster product. So you ultimately get to the same finish, but this just showcases uh, kind of like the old school, new school look, if you will. So next we're gonna take a look at the exterior and we're actually on our second level. And we thought it would be a great idea to incorporate some different decking products, kind of like we did with the siding on the lower level. So as you can see, uh, we've got some composite decking, different types, different styles, and then also the railings. You'll notice that this is kind of a brown colored vinyl railing, and then we have a white railing here. And again, it's just a great way to, to utilize the space to show different products and different types. And as we get around the corner, um, you'll notice we have our T111 again, but if you take a look at the soffit detail, we have the, the, vinyl, or the aluminum soffit and aluminum fascia, and then when we switch over to the wood product, it allows us to show the differences. So we've got just a traditional wood soffit with a two inch vent strip, and then more so the, the eight by 16 box vents, if you will, on the corner. And as I move up the stairs, we switch to a more traditional, just treated decking system and a treated handrail. And as we step up on this landing, this is a really great space, and I'm gonna to get to the different roofing components in a minute. Um, but if you take a look at this, there's actually, you know, you can see our chimney and the actual cricket behind the chimney and the different trim detail. And then also, this roof, it may be tough to see on camera, but the roof below us is a 412 and a 512 pitch, where the roof above us is a 612. So again, we're able to utilize this space to show uh, different pitches, different heights, and that sort of thing. I'm actually gonna step out on this. This is a fully functional roof, but it's great for training because it allows claim reps to actually get that hands-on approach. So as I step up here, <clears throat> we have different roofing products. We've got uh, wood shingles, we've got some clay tiles. This is a synthetic slate product, which is really unique. Um, metal valley flashing, skylights, traditional three tap shingles, the metal, excuse me, um, standing seam metal, and then the cap product. So as you can see, just a tremendous amount of things here at the training, training facility that allow us to utilize different materials, products, um, and spaces to really showcase to our claim reps what they may see out in the field. And I appreciate your time.